everybody, John Wagnon here with DevCentral, and in this Lightboard lesson video, we're going to talk about mobile network service consolidation. Uh, so service providers are moving to 5G. Everybody wants 5G. It's fast. It's all that. Uh, and so there's a transition from 4G LTE to 5G. This takes a lot of time. It can be very complicated, very involved. And nonetheless, a variety of network services are provided by the uh, service providers. And there is wide agreement among all of them that these services need to be consolidated. So I'm going to draw a picture here of what's going on and then how F5 can, uh, can help. All right, so in a mobile network, or in specifically 5G, I'll just, um, you know, you draw this example. Uh, you have endpoints, um, you know, out here. So I'll just put, you know, endpoints. And this could be things like, you know, a, maybe a cell phone or, you know, sometimes even a, a car, you know, could be an endpoint that then accesses, you know, your radio uh, antennas here, you know, the, the cell towers. And then from there, so you've got these endpoints coming in. And then from there, you have uh, what's called the radio access network. Uh, and I'll just put cloud there. And then from the radio access network, the RAN, uh, then you move into what's called the, in the 5G network at least, it's called the UPF or the, the user plane function. Um, and then from there you have, uh, and this is specific to 5G, you have what's called an N6 interface. And then you finally have the internet out here. Okay. So this is a very rough diagram of, you know, from endpoint all the way to internet, uh, which by the way, on, on 4G LTE networks, this portion right here is referred to as the SGI LAN. So I'm gonna put SGI LAN, all right? So SGI LAN would be for 4G LTE, uh, N6 is for 5G, and frankly, there's a group called the 3GPP, the Third Generation Partnership Project. It's a global organization for mobile technology, and they set the names for a lot of these, uh, or for these interfaces. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of zoom in here on this SGI LAN N6 interface portion, because this is where you define the network services that are deployed for these mobile networks. And these services are things like, I'll put a few of them up here, things like TCP optimization um, or, you know, maybe video optimization. So I'll put video optimization, maybe things like DNS or uh, CGNAT, the carrier grade network address translation, um, firewalls, uh, you know, uh, those, th those types of things, uh, DDoS, all, all of those network services are provided here at, on 4G LTE, on the SGI LAN or on the N6 interface. Um, okay, so what has typically happened is service providers would go out to vendor X and say, hey, I need TCP optimization as a service for my mobile network. And then, you know, vendor X would provide that on their maybe proprietary hardware, for example. And then another vendor would provide video optimization. Another vendor would pro provide CGNAT or whatever. And so you have this, you have what fr uh, frankly becomes this device sprawl and creates very complex uh, architectures for all of this, right? Um, what, what this does is you have multiple hardware, dedicated hardware devices, multiple vendors, you chain all these together so it creates a lot of latency. Uh, it's complex architecture, it's hard to scale. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's hard to manage the, these things. Uh, mostly manual provisioning has to take place or configuration. There's just a lot of problems with, you know, with, with, what's, with the way that this would be set up with multiple vendors. And so again, this is the part that we want to talk about consolidating. And this is, the, this is also the part where there's wide agreement among service providers that there needs to be consolidation. All right, so this is where F5 comes in. So I'm going to put a little line right here and you still have all of these, you know, this entire architecture here. So I'll put, you know, um, endpoints that go to, you know, the, uh, the tower here, right, that goes to the RAN cloud, that goes to the UPF, which then uh, is where you find the N6 interface on out to the internet. All right, and so this N6 LAN, I'm gonna just do this right here and we'll kind of blow this up 
uh, in this portion. So in the N6 land, this is where you can deploy F5 technology. So I'll say F5 big IP VE. So this is the virtual edition of uh, a big IP. So I'll just put a, a circle around that. All right. Um, what you can do is you can deploy uh, F5 big IP VE uh, and you can install it on what's called um, network function virtualization infrastructure or NFV infrastructure. And this is, uh, this is where you know, service providers are moving to network fun function virtualization, NFV, because it's a, it's a way to build networks on general purpose hardware, which is more flexible than dedicated proprietary hardware. So um, on this, you know, I'll just put like a little line um, that, would, that this would be built on top of you know, general purpose, COTS, commercial off the shelf hardware, right? And so you can deploy big IP VE uh, here. Um, also as a part of this, I'll just put a little line out here uh, for VNF uh, manager. This is the virtual network function manager that's a part of this that manages all the different functions of the N6 LAN. Uh, this is for 5G. Um, and it provides a simple way you know, to manage these functions. It removes complexity. Um, so now you, have, uh, you still have all of these services provided, all these network service for, services provided, but they're all provided by the F5 Big IP, um, which by the way, as we start moving to 5G, then uh, provider, service providers will increasingly use other technologies like containers as core network um, and then this N6 LAN portion will become cloud native, which F5 can support as well, which is awesome. All right, another thing that I would mention here, um, as you consolidate these services here on the big IP, uh, this UPF uh, can be deployed and, and is deployed as, the, as part of the core data center, the core network for 5G um, you know, networks. But it also can be instantiated closer to the or, or on the edge or different edge, uh, you know, uh, points. And so you may have multiple UPF instantiations on a 5G network, which means you're going to have this N6 LAN interface uh, multiplied many times over, right? Which means you're going to have all these services uh, that need to be deployed maybe in multiple locations, which which is just more of a reason to consolidate these in one location, uh, which you can do here on the big IP. So you're still providing, you know, TCP optimization, video, DNS, CGNAT, DDoS protection, uh, things like subscriber security services, you know, parental controls, URL filtering, those kinds of things, firewalls, all of that is provided here on the big IP, uh, you know, functionality, the, the big IP technology. So. What you've done now is consolidated all of your services on uh, the SGI LAN, which is on 4G LTE, or on the N6 interface on 5G, or as it turns out, many service providers are transitioning from 4G to 5G, and it's not like you can just flip a switch, you know, snap your fingers and it's done. Uh, this is a process, and so F5 um, provides these services, these consolidated services for, for both 4G and for 5G. So as you make that journey, you can, you can utilize this, uh, this solution for both of those. Uh, so it's a really, really powerful solution. So now um, you consolidated all of your services for either SGI LAN or N6 interfaces with F5 technology. So thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. Hey, if you like this thing, you can click up here on our Dev Central logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.